So once you have Docker installed, you need to do a Docker pull piehole slash piehole. This will pull down the latest version for you. Um, I'm already running the latest version, um, but for you, it will just download the next one. Um, once you've got that, open up a web browser, go to localhost slash admin. Obviously, that won't work quite yet. We need to go up to our Docker dashboard. Open up the dashboard, and we start piehole. Simple as this, really. Um, then what we need to do next is open up our web browser preferences to change the DNS settings. So pull this up, go to the settings here, remove any DNS that you already have, and set this to 127.0.0.1, which is localhost, um, and apply this. Um, as this refreshes, Pi-hole should suddenly appear. There we go. Um, and you can see that it is now running. Um, you will need a password to log in. The password is auto-generated when you start Docker, um, so make sure you take note of that. Um, if you go to a website that is blocked, you'll get this message. So that's it really. It's nice and simple, um, quick and easy to install Pi-hole uh, on Docker.